Hey, this is Mr. Starkey again. So for today's um, biomechanics or biomechanical assignment, um, I'm going to go over just a quick review of some of our terminology. And this assignment is going to require you to reference things from week two, which are still up on Google Classroom. So we talked about in biomechanics, um, bio meaning life, mechanics meaning movement. We, we discussed very early on the sagittal, frontal, and transverse planes. So a quick review. Um, again, anything moving parallel, the key word here is parallel to the sagittal plane, um, means it's sagittal. If something is moving parallel to this uh, line, this plane that bisects our body from front to back is the frontal plane. And anything moving parallel to this, that's what we call a kind of tabletop plane, is the transverse plane. So it's a good way to think about it as like the X, Y, and Z, in that the... Um, like here we have, if you're looking from the X perspective, this is the sagittal plane. If you're looking from the Y perspective, you would see the person's movement only um, on the frontal plane. And if we're looking from the top, for like someone, uh, a bird's eye view, we would be seeing this transverse plane movement. Okay, so your assignment for today is to go over all um, three planes and to go over the one, two, three, four, five, six movement patterns that we see most often in weightlifting exercises. So you're gonna get your Chromebook, you are going to utilize something like Google Images, or you can find a website if that works for you. Uh, I'm not gonna give you a ton of guidance on this because I do actually kind of want you to, to have to find it and look around for it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a Google document and you're going to list all three planes plus these terms flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, plantar flexion, and dorsiflexion. And you're going to provide either a still picture or an animated um, example of each of these movements. And this is really important for me because I'm going to get all of these assignments. I'm going to get like 180 of these assignments in the next day. I need you to type to save it kind of like I did up here. Your first name, period, last name, period, assignment, period, and then the date that you complete it. So up here is where we want you to title your document with this kind of a label so that when I get them all, I can figure out who's turned it in, whose is which. So one thing I wanted to cover real quick, and this is important, and if you don't watch this video, then you're going to make this mistake. So when you, let's say here we have the sagittal plane and you decide to insert an image that you find. Um, you can insert any image you want in this that has a movement in the sagittal plane, except you cannot use any of the images I have already used, or you cannot use any of the movements. So for example, in sagittal plane, since lesson one, I've used this graphic. It's called a lunge. You cannot use a lunge. You're gonna have to come up with one on your own. Same thing goes for flexion. Uh, since the very first time we introduced this concept of flexion, I showed a image of a bicep curl. Okay, this one, we haven't gotten to these terms, egg, um, antagonist muscles and agonist muscles, but either way, um, you know using the bicep curl. Um, for plantar flexion, I showed the image of a woman sitting down doing her, doing like a, a, a banded calf, kind of like ankle, ankle plantar flexion movement. So you can't use something like this. Now I'm not saying you can't find something similar, okay? But this exercise, you can't use this exercise. I want you to come up with your own set of original examples, whether they be photographs or uh, videos, links, or um, animated GIFs. I realize the Chromebooks are dramatically more locked down than um, what I'm about to show you here. But for example, if I was to type in something like um, elbow flexion uh, exercises, okay, I have all of these things that pop up right away. You could use anything that you see. It doesn't have to be. Uh, an animated GIF, but if you do want to throw in an animated GIF in Google Images, there's usually somewhere at the top here, 
something called tools. And in tools, you can search by the size, color, which wouldn't be relevant in this case, or type. So if you click GIF or animated, then you'll see only um, examples of uh, animated GIFs. Now you may have some of these blocked by the school's uh, privacy settings. So another option that you have is to just search for a general website. These are probably not gonna be bl blocked. So for example, here is something from Boston Sports Medicine. I highly doubt this will be blocked by um, our tech department. So granted there are no images here, but eventually you, know, you might find um, something that shows you this elbow flexion or knee flexion or whatever it is you're picking. Um, so here's a whole article from a, a website called bodybuilding.com. And I imagine there's gonna be a picture somewhere in here. Boom, there's somebody doing a, a curl. It's a different curl than I showed. Here's another type of curl that I didn't show. Here's a curl I didn't show. These are different than the ones that I showed in my previous PowerPoints. So you're gonna have to make sure that you reference the previous PowerPoints. So go back to Google Classroom, go back to previous assignments and look for these articles, or sorry, the, um, the PowerPoints that were created and review them to make sure you don't turn in the same assign the same exercises I have already shown. So be sure to review this. So A, you know what something like abduction is and make sure you're not showing the exact same exercise that I am. All right, good luck to you.